Now I'm not going to start with only one person in the chat. So, yep. So, very nice room. That's great. It's actually pretty messy though. Still not like perfect. Yeah, it's like not enough space to put off my shits, you know? Hi there. All right. Now, two people is definitely not enough for the live stream, so wait a little longer. Now, I would try not to go too long because you guys going to need to go to bed or whatever that is. It's already 11.40, so a little late night stream. I guess it's like... Let's, let's not think of it. Okay, I'm seeing zero people, so that's why I'm not going to even talk. All right. People are getting back in. Let me brush my teeth, not tooth. Yep, I used the swag picture because I know you like it, so that's why, why the hell not? I think this is like your first time even seeing the room, yeah, Michael? I'm enjoying my time over here. No room tour, no, because... I don't even need to do a room tour. Here's my room. Outside, there's some other people. I'm not going to even take my computer outside. Yeah, room two is that. This is basically it. That's basically my room right there. Bed right here. Bed is right here. And in front of me is just the window. So there's like nothing. All right, not a lot of people, maybe a little too late, but uh, didn't have 1,000 subs yet. 1,000 subs is not even close. <laughs> not even close. Let's try to aim at that 750 first, now do the uh, special video phone. It's kind of hard to do though, because I need to use some of the editing apps. It's kind of annoying to use the editing app sometimes because All right, there's still like lot, not a lot of people entering. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll get started. Maybe people will watch watch it again later on. Maybe people will come in slowly but surely. Let's get let's started. All right, let's get started now. Uh, the title said live stream lecture someone actually uh i'm not gonna mention who it is but you will know and i think you're in the chat as well someone uh, said that they want a another lecture video so i guess we'll do a live stream lecture because why the hell not but it's kind of bad because i cannot really use the screen that much you guys can just hear me talking so maybe you guys can have your own maps and stuff like that if you guys have it on you you can go ahead and check it out because we'll be talking about the transperf system in this video today. And also because some of you guys definitely just said, <laughs> what you eating? I'm not eating anything. I just, uh, oh, I mean, you mean the thing I just threw away? Uh, that's some grapes. I just finished it during the uh, premiere. While typing in some stuff for you guys, I eat my grapes by the side and I just finished it and I need to go out and wash the bowl. Hi guys, all right, finally I have more people, so let's get started. Transpose system will be talked about in this video, in this live stream, and also we'll talk about, uh... <laughs> not really. Sometimes I need to go to school, and it's still very hot over here, so that's why. I know actually recently Hong Kong get very freaking hot as well, so I guess later on it's gonna get chilly here in Perth. It'll be uh, very cold uh, in around Ju June or July, so flat enough uh, clothes. I definitely do not have a lot of long sleeves, but we'll figure that one out when I get there. <laughs> not close there. Not close to June yet. It's still very hot. Pants. Those are pants. All right, let's just get started. Mm, enough talking. Without further ado. So first things first, we'll do with the uh, very quick section, because you can see at the bottom, the first one I said is uh, 
we talk about the uh, RRTs because, like, some of you guys don't understand and uh, don't really know about the faces. Let's just go ahead and talk about that right now. Really quickly, I can easily describe all of the faces on RRT. Not a big problem. And hopefully you guys can understand and not make any more mistakes later on when you take the RRT in Yunlong and Yun Moon, all that stuff. I really want to take the RRT, but uh, there are no RRTs here. This is stupid. I have been to Adelaide, and Adelaide, there are trams. They call it trams, not RRT, but basically it's just the RRT system. But uh, usually there are a lot of people taking the RRTs or trams in Adelaide because they're free of charge most of the time. If you're actually traveling in the city, in Adelaide, in the Adelaide city center, it is free of charge, whatever you take. So it's very insane. So very crazy. I do understand the RRT. Someone actually don't understand the RRT. So let's just go and describe the faces real fast. Only the face one RRTs has no door at the back, only a kicked out window. All the other faces have, have the uh, question, how do you handle your financial things? Like, how do you have money to buy what it needs from your parents? Of course. Of course. So that's why as soon as I comes over the first day after I get off, I need to go ahead and set up my bank accounts and set up my phone number. So not going to tell you anything about this because this is privacy. So, but I will sh show you real fast. You guys cannot see anything. But I will be covering everything. Uh, phone number is switched to Australian number right now, and uh, the system is kind of weird. It's kind of hard to explain, so we're not going to deal with that. And also, how to get money. Before I leave, my parents gave me 8000 Australian dollars by the, from their bank account, so I'm still using the money that I brought over from Hong Kong. Yeah, 8000 Australian dollars. That's a lot of money, actually. Almost $50,000 in Hong Kong. And uh, afterwards, they will be throwing money through in my HSBC account. This is an Australian HSBC account, okay? It's global, so that's why HSBC is very useful. That's why I always need to choose HSBC. And the other one is a local one, NZ. Yes. These are the two bank accounts I got, and that's how you send, how they sent money over. Not going to show you anything about that. All right, so RRTs. Phase 1 RRTs has no door at the back. That's correct. No kicked out with the hustle correct. That's pretty cool. But uh, because most of the time is people don't really know how to recognize the faces. Like, which one is a face one? Which one is a face three? Some some ones actually don't get that. So, okay. So the hardest to distinguish from the distance is face one and face four. Transport card. Oh, okay. Uh, this is my room card. It's just a blank white card. So there's nothing on it. Uh, the uh, transfer card. That's how it looks like. That's the transperf card, only for taking transport. All right, so uh, no, no disruption so far. Okay, phase two and phase three, yes, I know. This is also correct, but it's too, a little bit general. We're going to talk, it is like the octopus, but you cannot use it for buying things. You cannot use it for eating. It is only for transport. Okay, so phase one, four, five are white, and phase two, three are red and blue. That is correct, but a little too general. We're going to go deep into it and talk about some of the unique features for recognizing the faces instead of when the train comes in. Then you guys can only see the colors from the distance, and when it arrives, then you can recognize them. But I'm going to tell you how to actually recognize them from a far distance, even when the train comes in. <laughs> Logo. All right, so the phase twos are phase two and phase three and phase five are the easiest to recognize, I think. Because phase one and phase four, they look the same if they come very from far away. All right, no problem, no problem, no problem. And uh, phase two, they always have a panel at the front, which is in orange. They always have orange wood at the front. The panels are always orange. When you see an orange panel train coming over, that's a phase two, right away, okay? Phase two, right away, when you see the orange things, orange words. And when you see green word, green words coming over. Yep, I'm talking about it right now, how to distinguish the other ones. Phase two, orange words, right away. You can see the orange words on the top. Phase three, you can see green words on the top. That's great, that's phase three, okay? And also, if you want to recognize by the doors, although the colors are the same, 
but the window designs are different. For phase two, it is the oval shape, like an M train. But for phase three, it is rectangle, really rectangle. It's not like the phase twos and not like the MRRs, not like the M trains. It is a very strict square window. So that's how you recognize using the doors and also using the words. Phase five is very straightforward. Yep, they're looking the same, yep, before that, but now it's different. For phase five, it is white, but there is a little bit of redness going on on the train, redness at the front and sometimes on the top of the train next to the top. That's how you recognize phase five. And you want to look at the doors, they have a trapezium window. That's phase five. Now, how to recognize phase one and phase four uh, it's uh, other than just looking at the windows, because as soon as, you, as soon as the train comes in, you can recognize by using the windows. But I can tell you right away how to recognize from far distance. This is taught by Chris. I actually don't know at the start, but after Chris taught me, I know how to do it. So thank you, Chris, for this. It's to look at the pantographs. Okay, so maybe you guys don't know what the hell is a pantograph, which I do. At the start, I also don't know what the hell is a pantograph. But it's the thing that actually touches the electrical wire at the top of the train. Yes, the uh, electrical wires that are actually touching the train at the top with like a uh, like a cable thing. That is the pantograph, which directs electricity from the electrical wires down to the train. That's where you're going to recognize and distinguish phase one and phase four. That's how I do it. From far distance, you can clearly see the pantograph on top of the train. It's very huge. For phase one, you should be able to see a very clear T-shaped pantograph for phase one. Yes, T-shaped pantograph for phase one, which is a straight line at the top touching the wire and two strip straight down parallel to each other. Then that's a phase one. For phase four, it is very clear that you can see a V-shaped pantograph. If you can see a V-shaped pantograph, then that's phase four. It should go, again, like a normal thing at the top, but instead of parallel down, it should be V-shaped down. Then that's phase four. That's how you recognize phase one and phase four from far distance instead of messing them up. I have messed up a lot of times before when I filmed the uh, face, when I filmed the uh, videos, when it comes at far distance, I was like, is that phase one or phase four? Oh, that's a phase four. Oh, just kidding. That's a phase one. So yeah, there you go. Yep, that's small details since I'm small. I'm just, I took light rail when I'm small, so. <laughs> yep. That's how we call an MTR fan. Right there, but it's still not the the, the, the crazy MTR fan because I did do the Google form <laughs> last time. A quiz made by others, not the one I made. The one by others talking about the, uh, uh, about an MTL fan, Chris, and I only got like 200 and something out of 600, so still not very crazy. I also know something very small. Oh, cool. All right. All right, done with the light, light rail. Hopefully you guys can get a little bit more understanding on the light rail. Yeah, that's pretty difficult, so that's why. But uh, for phase two, phase three, and phase five, you just look at the words, very easy to recognize. Phase one and phase four, is that, is Pantograph. The crazy MTR fan would go and take first trains, like Chris. <laughs> like Chris. If you guys have saw him on the TVB news, you can actually see him through on the screen. He was caught on screen when he catched the first train at Song Wong Toy last time, which is very funny. I repeated to watch that little section every single time and I actually have this chance to see it. And wake up at 3 a.m. The answer is last time Chris did not even sleep. He did not even sleep for the Song Long Toy first train. He just stays awake until 5 a.m. He didn't even go back home. He stayed on the streets until 5 a.m. <laughs> Hopefully see him first train for hour. I don't know, man. I don't know whether he'll be there. I was on the TVB News. Yep, I saw you on the train as well. He's probably Chris and you at Probably you and Chris are actually on the same train, but maybe, maybe not. 
Yep. And then actually on that day, I did wake up at five, five thirty to get into Wu Kai Sha to start the uh, filming. And then after I filmed like around at nine, filmed to nine o'clock. And then I asked Chris whether he wants to come out and film some stuff. And then he said he's going back home to sleep. <laughs> You make another MV for EAL. Yeah, yeah. No. How are you gonna do that? There's no memes for that one. Yeah, it's the 5:51 a.m. train. Cool. All right, done with light rail. Now onto transperf systems. Now it's kind of hard to describe because you guys don't really know the transperf map. So if you guys have like Google, you can go and type in the map. <laughs> and search the map for yourself because I cannot really show you guys. If I show you my phone, it just kind of goes all crazy. You guys cannot even see anything on the screen. Yeah, he was on the first TML train. He did have a video rushing down, filming himself, rushing down to the station and entering after they say, Sam, E, yeah, they must in I don't. And then he just goes in. <laughs> all right, so transfer system, here we go. Now, because you guys are not in Australia, yeah? not, in, not in WA, and you guys don't really know how the uh, system goes. So here we go. Let's describe that a little bit more in this lecture. All right, so in Perth, not really in Perth, Western Australia, transfer system has six lines. I just should call it five plus one. Huh. So, so, namely speaking, is the Armadale line, which we have did last time. Mandra line is the first line we did. Midland line, and then Joondalup line. We have two more we didn't feature yet, is Fremantle line and the Thorny line. So, Armadale and Thorny line, they're basically traveling at this exact same direction. Instead, it just splits up at the end. So, we'll talk about that at the end. That one's the most complicated line. So, we're going to talk about that later on. So the simplest one is Midland Line. It has it stops at all stations. Every single train stops at all stations from Perth to Midland. I'll open the trans. I'll open the app to show you guys. It would be also cool if you guys can actually go ahead and download the TransPerth app. Although you guys won't be using it anytime soon, but you guys can download the TransPerth app and you can see the stuff in there. It doesn't matter. I think actually, do you actually need to lock in? No airport train yet. They're planning to build an airport line. I think they will, they have built it already. I think, yeah, they have built it. And they actually proposed to open it this year for the airport line. But uh, it's not there yet. So, right. So we're going to go through the train lines here. Start with Midland line. No train service should be right now, I think. Okay. This is actually pretty crazy. In Hong Kong, the last train is like 1.15 around there, yeah? One, like very close to one o'clock. Around 1.10 or maybe around there, the last train. Here, the last train is actually 1.30, which is actually pretty crazy. So the middle line stations are, I'm just gonna read with, with, the, uh, with the app. So, yep, three minutes from midnight. So Midland Line is Midland, Woodbridge, East Guildford, Guildford, Success Hill, Bazendine, Ashfield, Bayswater, Meltham, Maylands, Mount Lolly, East Perth, Claysbrook, MacIver, and Perth. And it will go to Fremantle Line. So that's the only pattern for Midland Line. And for Fremantle Line, which you actually have not featured yet, we're going to go through that right now. You can search the name of the station or watch my videos. So for mental line is Perth, City West, West Leaderville, Subiaco. Do they have a new station? I think they have a new station for Fremental line, which is called Showground Station. But Showground Station is only used on like, like race course. So Biaco Station, Daglish, Daglish, is that Daglish? Daglish? Don't know how to pronounce that. D-A-G-R-L-L-I-S, I don't know how to pronounce that. Shenton Park, Karakata, Loch Street, 
Claremont. I actually don't know about that one, but let's not talk about political things in here. Claremont, Swanbourne, Grand Street, Cotslow, Mosman Park, Victoria Street, North Fremantle, and Fremantle. Now, I actually went to Fremantle last time, so that's why you guys should be able to check out the uh, Google Drive in the community post sections, not videos, in the community tab. And for Fremantle line, there are three patterns, three patterns. One is, of course, all stops, which is the uh, basic one. Almost every single train will be all stops. And then there will be two more patterns. One is the D pattern, which is it does not stop all the way to Fremantle. It just stops at a middle station. I forgot where it is. And the last one is a plus S pattern, which is passing through showground, like I said before. It's kind of hard to explain without any maps. So hopefully you guys have your own maps or like me, you can download the Transperp app. You guys can have the Transperp app. It's available for the Hong Kong app stores. So I don't know whether it needs some uh, lock-in uh, stuff though, but maybe you can still lock into it. All right. And we have the uh, Mandra line. Mandra line is the longest line here in Perth. Last train is 12.59 for this line today because it takes almost one hour for the full line. So, so full line is Mandra, Warnborough, Rockingham, Willard, Winana, Auburn Grove, Colburn Central, Murdoch, Bull Creek, Canning Bridge, Elizabeth Key, and Perth Underground. Now for Mandra line, there are three patterns, all stops, a W pattern, and a K pattern. I just saw that one today. W pattern is uh, from Perth underground to Coburn Central, which is just, uh, just not even close to halfway of the line. It just stops there. And then for the K pattern, it's not really that common for the K pattern. The W pattern is a little bit common, not the most common one, of course, but it does have quite a lot of service during the middle of the day. And uh, for the K pattern, is all the way to Rockingham, which is like two stations away from Mandra. All right. We're not going to do any more of the typing into the description <laughs> later on for the videos. So that's why I'm talking all the way through here. June the Love Line, which we just go through today, which goes from Butler, Clarkson, Currambine, June the Love, Edgewater. Yep, the patterns is in letters, which is kind of weird, I know, but yeah, that's that's basically how they're gonna do it. Gotta go now. All right, so thanks, mate. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Edgewater, Whitfords, Greenwood, Warwick, Sterling, Glandalal, Leaderwheel, Perth Underground, and Elizabeth Key. Now, for this one, it has four patterns, so that's why it's very confusing. But uh, maybe you guys can go ahead and watch the lecture later on and uh, go through the stuff. So we have four patterns, all stops, K, W, and P. Yes, it's kind of hard to remember. K is to Clarkson. I don't know why they actually need to have a K pattern that stops at Clarkson, which is like one stop before Butler. Why not just go to Butler? K pattern to Clarkson, very rare, not a lot of them. W pattern is to Whitfits. I guess they use W for Whitfits, so that's why they said pattern W, but so it's just from... Elizabeth Key slash Perth to Whitfords, which is like a few stations. And all stops. And we have a P pattern. This one's actually a very special pattern because it doesn't really follow the, the correct map. So for June Dillup line, it goes to underground, the Perth underground station, and then connects with Mandra line. And then in the morning, exactly at 9 a.m., there will be one special train departs from Whitfords Going all the all taking to the Perth direction, stopping at all stations, Whitfords, Greenwood, Warwick, Sterling, Glendalough, Leaderville. But then it does not go into the Perth underground. It goes to the Perth normal station, the big station last time we take Midland Line. And it was stopped at platform nine for that special train in the morning and terminates at Perth. Not going underground, it just goes straight into the normal on the ground level perf station which is very interesting and very special in my opinion 
and it terminates at perf and head into the depot. What's the difference? If you have watched the previous videos today, you guys can see in the premiere, perf on the ground is obviously on the ground. There's only two lines that goes on the ground, which is because they are going to different directions. So that's why they go like a, they basically goes like whole mountain station. Yep, for perf on the ground and perf, they're just like whole mountain station. Basically, you just move the two mile line platform up to the ground level and you keep the whole mountain Kuntan line platform at the bottom because they go different directions. So that's why if you actually build one over ground on the, on the ground floor, then of course the other one has to either be over ground or underground. But of course in the city, you cannot build over ground. <laughs> so that's why it has to be underground. Because it's two different directions, so of course you have to go different levels to get everything actually built in. Just like Kowloon Town Station. Kind of, but I use a home engine station there. I think it's kind of similar. Just dealing with some things there. All right, that's basically the patterns. One train in the 9 a.m. in the morning will goes to Perth on ground level station. And onto the most difficult one now is Armadale line. Two different stations or the same station? It's basically the same station because they are connected, but one is underground and one is on ground level. Because I need to sleep. No worries, bye guys. Bye, peace. Peace. Yeah, there are same stations. It's just they are connected one is underground and one is on the ground level. So that's why they just called it Perth Underground and Perth. But for Perth Underground, it's platform one and platform two. And then for the Perth on ground level station, it is three to nine for the platform. So that's why it does not, it's the same. It is connected, but one is underground and one is on ground level. All right, Armadale line. Oh, no service already. <laughs> No service already. Since I checked the app, it's empty. So I guess, I don't think it actually has service tomorrow morning. Does it have service tomorrow? The answer is no. Okay. Kind of forgot about that one. In weekends, Armadale slash Forney line closes. I guess I just read some of the stuff that I hit for today. Armadale line, which usually is C pattern. There are actually a tons of pattern for Armadale line. Uh, a, A is actually all stops. All stops, B, C, and one is called AP, I think. Not AP, I think. I think CP or something like, or P. I think that's the, uh, that's the thing. Yeah. It's kind of weird that they use the systems like this. When were the C-series trains? Maybe they will use it for the airport line. So maybe the airport line comes in, then the C-trains will come in. And for the uh, Armadale line, all stops is actually not the most common pattern. B pattern, only like one train every day. So it's not important. The most important one is the C pattern, which is Armadale, Sherwood, Charles, Kelmscott, C4, Gorsnells, Maddington, Kenwick, Beckenham, Cannington, Oat Street, Clays Brook, McIver, and Perth. So that's the C pattern. It skips a few stations in between the middle. We have filmed the full journey on the Armadale line, so you can go back and check that one. And uh, so sometimes in weekends, but unfortunately no, no service on weekends, or when a stadium is used, which is Perth Stadium, then they will stop at Perth Stadium as well, which is exactly exactly like race course. But instead of actually like race course, it splits to another path in another track. It just passes through the station and just doesn't stop there, just goes through. So, and then uh, we have Thorny Line. Thorny Line is just basically also the same, only one pattern mostly. There's sometimes stops at Beckingham as well, but usually it does not do that. All right. Done talking, finally. That's a lot of talking, Jesus Christ. Let's check for comments. <laughs> All right, so done with that. 
Okay, so probably everyone in the chat actually has did the uh, quiz that I done that I made last time. So that's pretty good. <laughs> So did all of you guys actually did the quiz? I think I can go and check it right now, but using my phone is kind of weird because the Google form is kind of laggy when I use my phone. So so I think all of you guys have done the quiz. And uh, and uh, I didn't, yeah, I, I know. I set it up pretty hard and I used like over one hour to make that one because I tried to make it already as easy as possible for the first few questions. But of course, for the last two, it's probably like nearly impossible for you guys to get all correct because yeah, terrible score. MTL quiz not. The thing is, actually, there's someone already made a uh, train in Hong Kong quiz. It's insanely crazy. I did that one. Is like around half of the score. Yeah, I'm not gonna make MTL train knowledge. I don't. I don't consider myself that crazy enough to actually know a lot of things about the MTR system, so. Exclusive quiz for MTR. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Hi, Venalish Venalicious, you're, wow. You're getting a little late because we just finished talking the most of the important things and now you comes in after everything is past, unfortunate. But you guys, you can watch the lecture later on, live stream. It will be uploaded after the uh, after the live stream ends, so. So. I'll rewind, no problem. Have you actually, now, Venalicious, uh, hopefully it's the correct name. Have you have, have you done the quiz, the Google Form quiz that I made? Yep. Yep, it is in Chinese, so that's why. I don't think they actually have a question called what is the iron line in English? No. So, not yet. So, remember to go do it. You can test out your knowledge on how much you know about me. To see whether you're a uh, OG Justin Master eighty six fan or just a new viewer, that's how how you're gonna test test that one out. But it's just a test about me, how much you know about me. But oh, you're talking about that one. <laughs> oh, I I feel a little bit let down. That's kind of sucks. I got like two thirty. Five, I think. I don't remember the score that I got, but yeah. All right, so. So remember to do the, uh, you guys can try out the MTR quiz by uh, Relic Relic HK. You can try that one. And of course, you should go ahead and try out the quiz that I made about myself. So if you guys have not done that, remember to go do that one. See how much you know about me. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not terrible, 200 and something. I only got like 230, so. Yeah. Let's see if I get extra res responses for my quiz. I can go and check it right now. What the hell happened to the uh, charger connection? Why is it, why is it not plugged in? Where's the quiz link? Go to my channel, click community tab, the community tab, then you can see there should be a post saying, try the quiz. It is not in the description. You need to go to the community tab of my channel. Go to click my channel, click my channel, just mouse a six. It should be at the homepage. You click a tab, which sets community and you should be able to see the link there. 
It shouldn't take you that long. It should take you around 10 minutes to complete it. I have all of you guys' responses over here. You guys definitely cannot see it. Yep, you're ahead there now because uh, I don't know whether you guys want me to explain the quiz, but it's kind of explaining like a like an exam paper or something like that. It's kind of weird. No problem. You can actually go ahead and watch the live stream at the same time you do the quiz because just you can use two tabs. Or if you're using your phone, then it's kind of hard. You can see Aviation Channel. You have you have done it. I can see Suvan Gaming, and I can see Bluey. Thanks so much for supporting. Yeah, I know. I post an Instagram story, and then at the same time, I've checked. I post on community post. Because I know, definitely, like, I don't know how many subscribers, like, over 90% of my subscribers are not following me on Instagram. So that's why. The best way I can do to let the non-followers non to check it, check out the link is to throw it on the community post. But no one even checked the community post, so stupid. Now, let's see. Now, the highest score so far I got is 31 out of 60 for my quiz, which is already very damn good, I think, if you got 31. I don't know who is that that got 31. Maybe my, like, maybe some of my real-life friends or even my parents, because they did do it. All right, anything to talk about? Replies and comments. Let's see. Not too many people right now. Maybe it's a little late, but. Talk about East Rail Line platform screen doors. Okay. They'll probably install that one as soon as all the MRRs are kicked out. And they will cut the platform. Not like for real cutting the platform, but it's just like like in uh, the style that they do for Tuma Line and uh, I mean West Rail Line. They, the way they do it for West Rail Line or, and also like maybe even the, uh, what's that thing called? The Disneyland Resort Line. Maybe that's how they're going to do the uh, platform. Oh yeah, automatic platform gates. <laughs> Not platform screen gates. <laughs> we call it PSD or APG, yes. PSD is platform screen doors or automatic platform gates. Yep, they will install them after all of the uh, our trains, only after they all use our trains, and they will build it with the platform cut out a little bit, using the platform gates to cut it out. And if you actually go ahead and take the Israel line, and you actually look on the floor of the platform. Yep, that's just exactly just like that. They were going to probably block off some of the sections of the platform. Uh, but, uh, for the, uh, if you're actually going to take the Israel line and you actually look on, look at the, uh, look, sorry about that. Look at the floor of the platform. You should be able to see some actually of the gray and black strip line blocks at some spots on the platform. <laughs> In question 13, no worries. Take your time. I don't know whether you guys want me to go through the quiz.
say yes if you actually want me to go through the quiz. And it's a little late to talk about the quiz, but maybe we maybe like we talk about the quiz and then we end the live stream. How about that? Have you ever had Tam Zai Sam Go? First, you finish the quiz. Later on, we talk about that. <laughs> go back and finish the quiz first. It shouldn't take you that long. And uh, if you actually go ahead and check out the Israel line block in the floor, that is exactly the spot where they will put the platform gates. So that's why. I don't know what type of platform gate they will use. They might use the uh, same type. Jesus Christ. Damn it. Damn. Damn it. Okay. That's kind of dumb. It's kind of lame. Okay. Just deal with some of the problems inside my room. It's kind of that kind of sucks, actually, the, the problems. Let me actually go ahead and have another check real fast. Okay, no problem now. Okay. Some of these, a lot of bucks just crawled in. Need to deal with them. And they're the small ones, too. I don't even see them. We're good now. All right. No, it's getting hot in here, Jesus. All right. Anything else? So when I see Venolicious done with the quiz, then we'll talk about it. Just not to spoil any of the answers before he finishes. Anything to talk about right now? Hopefully they are. I 
Maybe let's talk about some traveling or something like that. Definitely getting hot in here. Awkward silences. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like awkward silences, but sometimes I don't even know how to deal with awkward silences when it really happens. So I'm trying to like check out whether there are any more bucks inside my room. This is just done. How many people are in here right now? Not too many. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe we should review the quiz tomorrow. I don't want to bring another live stream tomorrow, though. Tomorrow's Saturday. Mm. Saturday may be okay. We can do a live stream. Yeah, maybe we can do that. I'm just really like thinking of like take out some of my cards and do some tricks, but. Yep. So is that it right here? All right. But I don't really want to say I really like this deck. I've done a trick on the uh, card stream would be nice. I, I don't really know how to do card stream without really having you guys interacting with me, you know? Because I really want a real life audience when I do these. But this deck is really very cool. I really like this deck. Very cool deck. It cost me $120 in Hong Kong last time when I buy it. And it's a lot of fun using this deck. And I should be unshuffled right now. Should not be shuffled. Yep, it is not shuffled. Is not shuffled. Every single card is in order. And I'm both the plain guy and the blue dude. <laughs> All right, so let's end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we talked quite a lot of things in this one. And uh, hopefully, you guys, you have understand a little bit more about the uh, transfer system and uh, understand the uh, RRTs. We did waste a lot of time at the end, unfortunately. Okay, so... See you guys tomorrow for another live stream. Till then, guys, take it easy. Peace.